uh, it's something that we predict is going to happen over the next uh, three to four years, uh, given the fact that um, um, the vaccines get approved on time, uh, production uh, stays steady, and, uh, and supply chain is ready to meet the challenge. So uh, we see the challenge would be uh, able to be completed in the next uh, three to four years. But ships are slow and vaccines need to be temperature controlled. Surely air transport makes more sense? One thing to consider is that uh, ocean freight uh, moves most of the products uh, globally. The same is applied to pharma and healthcare. Looking specifically in pharma and healthcare, uh, it's important to consider that a lot of the products that already move uh, with ocean freight are temperature controlled. Ocean freight has the capabilities of moving uh, 2 to 8 degrees temperature controlled cargo. It has the reliability, uh, gives control and visibility uh, to transport pharmaceutical product. So it's not really strange that we are talking uh, would um, the COVID-19 vaccine move in uh, ocean containers, but when would the COVID-19 vaccine move in ocean containers? So not if, but, but when. Let's talk, though, about protecting precious cargo and, of course, your people. I mean, what about pirates? What about extreme weather? These are some of the extremes that do happen in ocean transport, but you also have to remember that there is a lot of challenges in air, uh, air, air transport. Ocean transport overall is very re reliable. It moves uh, 80, up to 80% of the pharmaceutical products globally. So, uh, and we, we have a dedicated team uh, that puts an extra care in making sure that uh, the COVID-19 vaccine and other vaccines that are moving already today uh, by ocean uh, transport are taken care of. Another challenge to, to the industry is containers, a shortage of, of the containers and those back, a backbone of international um, trade and transportation. So what impact is that shortage having on Musk? That's something that uh, we focused on uh, last year. We are on a journey um, to digitize trade, to integrate container logistics, to focus on sustainability. So it's very, uh, it's very important that we have really escalated um, our service offering and we are able to deliver to the customers. What we have also done is we have looked at some alternatives to meet these shortages in, uh, in ocean. We have deployed uh, train solutions, uh, for example, from China to Europe. We are looking into air freight solutions as well, so giving a, a well-rounded uh, supply chain solution to the customers has been uh, our driving uh, goal to be able to deliver to them.